MIT researchers say Earth's cousin Venus looks like it might have the special ingredient needed to support life in the extremely acidic clouds of the hellish second rock from the Sun. Here are the details. Scientists from MIT have come up with a controversial new theory for why life might exist in the clouds of Venus. In a paper that has now been accepted into the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the researchers say that data from two probe missions in the 1970s make them suspect that ammonia is present in the highly acidic clouds of Venus. This follows shocking revelations last year that significant amounts of phosphine were discovered in the atmosphere of Venus. At the time, scientists claimed this was a sign of life, as phosphine is often created when organic matter breaks down on Earth. Other scientists scoffed at the idea that life forms could exist in the thick, carbon dioxide-filled atmosphere, as such life forms would also have to be resistant to the extremely acidic droplets of sulfuric acid in the clouds. The MIT researchers now claim that this acid could be neutralized by the ammonia they now suspect could be present in the clouds. Ammonia would set off a long chain of chemical reactions that could turn Venus's clouds into a more hospitable place, they say. The researchers said that life could be making its own environment on Venus. They concluded, our model therefore predicts that the clouds are more habitable than previously thought and may be inhabited. America's national debt is currently climbing past $28 trillion, and the White House is asking for $6 trillion more for its federal spending bill. This bill would give NASA a total of $24.8 billion, making it the largest budget request for NASA science ever. NASA says it will use $1 billion to send two missions to check out Venus. Here are the details. The BBC reports that NASA has announced it is sending two new missions to Venus in order to examine the planet's atmosphere and geological features. The missions, which have each been awarded half a billion dollars in funding by the Biden administration, are due to launch between 2028 and 2030. The last probe to visit the planet was the Magellan Orbiter in 1990. However, other vessels have made flyby since then. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and the hottest planet in the solar system, with a surface temperature of 500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. The Da Vinci Plus mission will measure the planet's atmosphere to gain insight into how it formed and evolved. It will also aim to determine whether Venus ever had an ocean. The second mission, called Veritas, will map the planet's surface to understand its geologic history and investigate how it developed so differently from Earth. It will use a form of radar to chart surface elevations and to find out whether volcanoes and earthquakes are still happening. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said the missions would offer the chance to investigate a planet we haven't been to in more than 30 years. After studying Mars's atmosphere with its first space probe, the United Arab Emirates now plans to send a second probe to study one hot planet and seven asteroids before landing on an asteroid. Here are the details. CNBC reports that the United Arab Emirates has announced it will send another probe into space, this time to study Venus and the solar system's main asteroid belt. The announcement comes as the Emirates Hope probe is studying Mars's atmosphere from orbit after arriving in Mars orbit in February 2021. According to the UAE, the new probe will launch in 2028 and head to Venus, where it will use a heat shield to orbit close to the hot planet and study it. After studying Venus, the probe will return to Earth, circling the mother planet a few times to pick up enough speed to slingshot out to the solar system's main asteroid belt, situated between Mars and Jupiter. When it reaches the asteroid belt, it will closely observe seven asteroids before landing on one of them and collecting a sample before it returns to Earth. If it can do all that, the UAE would become only the fourth nation to land a spacecraft on an asteroid. If all goes to plan, the probe will travel a total of 2.2 billion miles, or 3.6 billion kilometers. As with the UAE's Martian probe, the Emirates will again work closely with the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics at the University of Colorado to build and control the new probe. Astronomers have speculated for decades that life could exist in the clouds of Venus. Now, a shocking discovery is making scientists take this idea very, very seriously. Here is what they found. In an experiment made from pure curiosity, scientists from Cardiff University, the University of Manchester, and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology scanned the clouds of Venus and detected phosphine, a gas that could be a sign of life. 
The findings were published in the journal Nature Astronomy. Venus is about the size and the same mass as Earth. Its diameter is 12,104 kilometers. Earth's is 12,756 kilometers. Unlike Earth and all the other planets in the solar system except Uranus, Venus rotates from east to west, and it rotates on its axis very slowly. A day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days. Venus is also the hottest planet in the solar system. A runaway greenhouse gas effect makes surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead, with an atmospheric surface pressure 90 times greater than that on Earth. But high up in its atmosphere, there's a spot that is neither too hot nor too cold for life. To make their discovery, the scientists used the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii. They were shocked when they found hints of phosphine in Venus's spectrum. The team later confirmed the detection using the more sensitive ALMA Observatory in Chile. Phosphine is a biosignature gas. On Earth, it's made by microbes that thrive without oxygen. Other processes that could create phosphine on Venus, volcanoes, lightning, sunlight, or minerals blown up from the surface, would only account for a maximum of one ten thousandth of the amount detected. In a recent paper led by astronomer Sarah Seeger at MIT, the authors note there is a sweet spot 40 to 60 kilometers up in the clouds above Venus. They hypothesized that microbes could live there, drying up as they fall to the lower atmosphere, and then rehydrating as they return to the cloud layer by upward diffusion. In a statement, Jane Greaves, the lead researcher on the phosphine discovery from Cardiff University, said, This was an experiment made out of pure curiosity. I thought we'd just be able to rule out extreme scenarios, like the clouds being stuffed full of organisms. When we got the first hints of phosphine in Venus's spectrum, it was a shock. Of course, this is not definitive proof that life exists on Venus. In an opinion piece on CNN, Sarah Seeger from MIT wrote her takeaway is that it indicates there is something highly unusual going on to produce phosphine, either some completely unknown chemistry or possibly some kind of microbial type life. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.